Experts say Tesla can cut $5,500 off Model Y battery costs. Also, Tesla can achieve savings from bigger sales and new manufacturing process. And keep in mind that Tesla is yet to ramp up new dry coding technique. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Today, Norihiko Shiozu from Beijing and Paul Leonard in Detroit have reported a very interesting details taking us inside Tesla's drive to keep Elon Musk's battery promised and show how Tesla can cut $5,500 off Model Y battery costs, making this electric crossover even more competitively priced, which will translate more sales and more deliveries, right? The secret behind Elon Musk's goal of selling 20 million Teslas a year by 2030 lies in its pioneering battery technology. The good news is that by using bigger cells and a new process to dry coat electrodes, Tesla could halve the cost of Model Y battery, saving more than 8% of the car's US starting price, battery experts with ties to the company told Reuters. The bad news is that it's only halfway there. According to 12 experts close to Tesla or familiar with its new technology, that's because the dry coding technique used to produce the bigger cells in Tesla's 4680 battery is so new and unproven, the company is having trouble scaling up manufacturing to the point where the big cost saving kick in, the experts told Reuters. They said, they just aren't ready for mass production, said one of the experts close to Tesla. Still, the gains Tesla has already made in cutting battery production costs in the past two years could help boost profits and extend its lead over most electric vehicles, electric vehicle rivals. Musk promised improvements in battery costs and performance are seen by investors as critical to Tesla's quest to usher in an area where it can sell 25,000 electric vehicles a profit and stand a better chance of hitting its 2,000 and 30 targets. Battery systems are the most expensive single element in most electric vehicles. So making lower cost, high performance packs is key to producing affordable electric cars that can go toe to toe with combustion engine rivals on sticker prices. Tesla is one of only a handful of major automakers that produces their own electric vehicles and by manufacturing Model Y cells at US plants, the SUV will remain eligible for US tax credits when many rival electric vehicles may no longer qualify. Among the 12 battery experts Reuters spoke with, nine have close ties to Tesla and three of nine have examined Tesla's new and old battery technology inside and out through teardowns. Reuters says it tried to reach Tesla, but Tesla did not respond to requests for comments. The sources predict that Tesla will find it difficult to fully implement the new dry coating manufacturing process before the end of this year, and perhaps not until 2023. Stan Whittingham, a co-inventor of lithium-ion batteries and a 19, 2019 Nobel laureate, believes Tesla chief executive Elon Musk has been overly optimistic on the time frame for commercializing the new technique. He said, I think he will solve it but he won't be as quick as he likes. It's going to take some time to relay uh, test it, he said. In August, Elon Musk told shareholders Tesla would be producing high volumes of 4680 batteries by the end of 2022. According to the experts, Tesla has only been able to cut the Model Y's battery cost by between $2,000 and $3,000 so far, about half the savings Tesla had planned for the 4680 battery, which it unveiled two years ago at the battery day on September 20, 2020. But those savings have come mainly from the design of the new 4680 cells which are bigger than those in Tesla's current 2170 battery, they said. But the heart of the drive to push down costs is the dry coating technology, which Elon Musk has described as revolutionary, but difficult to execute. According to sources, it shows it should deliver as much as of as half of the $5,500 cost savings Tesla hopes to achieve by slashing manufacturing costs and one-time capital spending. 
Tesla acquired the know-how in 2019 when it paid over $200 million for Maxwell Technologies, a company in San Diego making ultra capacitors which store energy for devices that need quick bursts of electricity such as camera flashes. Building on Maxwell's technology, Tesla began making 4680 dry cells this year, first in a pilot near its Fremont, California plant, and more recently at its new global headquarters in Austin, Texas. The technology allows Tesla to ditch the older, more complex, and costly wet coating process. It's expensive because it needs a substantial amount of electricity, machinery, factory, space, time, and large labor force. To coat the electrodes in the wet process, battery producers mix the materials with toxic binder solvent. Once coated, the electrodes are dried in massive ovens with the toxic solvents that over evaporate in the process being recovered, treated and recycled, all adding to the cost. With the new technology, electrodes are coated using different binders with little use of liquids so they don't need to be dried. That means it's cheaper, faster, and also less environmentally damaging. Because of its simplicity, the process allows Tesla to cut capital spending by a third and slash both the footprint of a factory and its energy consumption to a tenth of what would be needed for the wet process, Tesla has said. But the company has had trouble commercializing the process, the sources said to Reuters. Maxwell downplayed, uh, actually Maxwell developed its dry coat process for ultra capacitors, but the challenge with coating electrodes for electric vehicle batteries is that they are much larger and thicker, which makes it hard to coat them with consistent quality at mass production speeds. They can produce the small volume, but when they started big volume production, Tesla ended up with many rejects too many. One of the sources with ties to Tesla told Reuters. Production yields were so low that all the anticipated cost savings from the new process were lost, the source said. If all the potential efficiencies from dry coating and the bigger cells are realized, the manufacturing cost for the Model Y's 4680 battery pack should fall to $5,000 to $5,500, roughly half the cost of the 2170 pack, according to the sources. The rising cost of battery materials and energy pose a risk to those forecasts. However, and Tesla has not yet been able to significantly improve the new battery's energy density or the amount of power it packs as Musk has promised. Still, despite those factories, the savings Tesla is expected to achieve will end up making the 4680 batteries the industry's best in class for the foreseeable future, one source has said Reuters. So there's a lot of good news going on with this, friends. We just have to be a little bit patient and see what comes next. And I will have another report telling you what's backing up and what's bulking up at Tesla about this. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please uh, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. As I took you with the help of Reuters to Elon Musk battery promise, experts say Tesla can cut $5,500 off Model Y battery costs. Also, Tesla can achieve savings from bigger sales and new manufacturing processes, but keep in mind that Tesla is yet to ramp up the new dry coating technique, which is the real cost cutting measure at Tesla's new 4680 batteries. Subscribe to our channel, please. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And like this report if you found the information helpful and useful.